I'm back. So, what I was waiting for finally arrived. Three o'clock in the afternoon, but it got here. Uh, as you all know, I was waiting for my McBaron HH Old Dark Fire to arrive. It's in this huge round tin, which was kind of surprising to me. I thought the flakes would come in the smaller square tin. And the redder rub would come in the, the bigger tin. But it's packaged like that. So they got this outside. I don't know why they do that. Whatever. <laughs> uh, mm. I swear it smells almost exactly like the 1792. Almost. Uh, with the 1792, they got the Tonkin bean in it. I think that adds a little bit of a vanilla essence to it, but it's very close. And the flakes are just beautiful. Look at that. They just smell amazing. Um, yeah, so, got my Eleganza loaded up, before I smoke it. I'm sure all of you have watched reviews on this tobacco, it's a popular tobacco, but, uh, HH Old Dark Fired is a bold flake of dark fired burleys and a well-balanced unity with blue cured Virginia's. This flake is hot pressed, meaning that during the pressing, heat is added by steam to the tobaccos, which causes tobacco to intensify the marrying process, giving us a bolder tobacco. The robust, earthly flavor of the dark fired burley shines through in the taste, and you'll experience a deeply satisfying smoke, indeed. So, so far, it's exactly what I was hoping it would be. It basically smells like... To give a, my best comparison is like some very deeply smoked beef jerky. Uh, it has a very definite smokiness, barbecue type of aroma to it, the flakes themselves. Which, so does 1792. So, we'll see. I also want to see what kind of, how strong this is. They put it in the mild to medium. Um, I'm guessing the way this smells, it almost had to be at least medium. Uh, whether it has the nicotine hit that the 1792 does, it might not. Um, but the way that they cure it, I don't know why it wouldn't. This, has, this is probably way stronger than what I generally smoke in aromatics. Didn't let it dry out at all, which it didn't seem, you know, overly moist to me. And as you all know, I don't really like drying out tobacco before I smoke it. I think it does affect the flavor, so. It is definitely a robust, more robust tobacco. Um, very full flavored. Definitely nothing you would want to smoke indoors and near people.
Hmm. Definitely something you would want to smoke like at night by a campfire or something like that or in the morning with your coffee. Um, I'm actually having coffee with this. It pairs up with it pretty well, I think. Mm. It's tasty, folks. It is definitely, uh, it lives up to what I was hoping it would be. I'm trying to, whether or not it is, uh, Does it, does it match up completely with 1792? No, um, it doesn't. It is, though. It's a pretty hearty uh, tobacco. This is not something that if you're just starting to smoke a pipe, I would suggest you run out and get. Um, this is something I think that's borderline uh, Virginia Flake slash English. This is probably the closest thing as far as taste um, and smoke that I have probably come close to to an English. It's as close as I want to come. Um, it doesn't have that Just in your face, Latakia, you know, smokiness, but it has the smokiness is there. Very enjoyable. It's not something that I will smoke, I would want to smoke every day, um, once a week, maybe a few times a week. Absolutely. Which is, I'm always looking for tobaccos like that, <clears throat> actually. Uh, you don't want to have a cellar full of tobaccos that you can smoke every day. I know that sounds kind of silly, but you don't. Because it's just, it almost gets to be mind-numbing when you're trying to figure out, what do I want to smoke today? Well, that, it's to have tobaccos like this, it makes it easier to select, okay? So you're... Like I said, it'd be a good smoke at night, you know, cooler out. Um, got a camp uh, fire going, what have you. But it's really good. Mmm. Now that I got down like probably an eighth or so of the bowl, it's really, really coming out, the smokiness. It's been a good day, folks. <laughs> Picked me up a couple aromatics. I did smoke a bowl of that champagne, uh, Stoker Bee's champagne. It's good. Um, it's not an in-your-face aromatic. It's not like that. Uh, but it's got that kind of berry in the background sweetness to it. Very enjoyable. Terrific room note to it. Matter of fact, I'd say it's pretty, pretty close to the uh, passion fruit as far as the room note goes. They both are... Eight out of ten. 
this not so much this would probably uh empty your room if you lit it up something you'd want to smoke in your local cigar lounge something like that is definitely not anything similar remotely similar to my caps tan I didn't expect it to be plus when you spend what you spend on a, a tin of tobacco like this it's, it's kind of perfect because you're paying a little more for it, but you're not going to smoke it up, you know, in a matter of two weeks. So that's good. You know, smoke a couple flakes a week. It'll last you quite a while. I won't finish this bowl in this video, but I will let you know in the next video, you know, what kind of nicotine hit. I do believe there is one there. I mean, I can already tell that. Um, don't think it's close to what 1792 has for me anyway. But most aromatics I smoke, there's no nick hit, really. Um, unless maybe I got an empty stomach sometimes. Um... Aaron Moore Flake, actually, uh, I get a pretty good, somewhat of a buzz from that when I smoke it. Now, is that an aromatic? No, not really, but. This stuff burns really well, too, once you get it lit. Well, I just wanted to do a first impression, said I would do it, it got here, couldn't wait to smoke it, so I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and uh, by all means, if you already have some of this, or you've smoked it, give me your comments below, uh, I'm interested to see what everyone else thinks of it, who's smoked it, I don't know. I guess I'll just finish the bowl and continue on with my night. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone who visits the channel. Um, it means a lot to me. And uh, I will probably do a, a video. Well, I'll do a video um, about the Stokeby champagne that I got, as well as have some more shout outs. Um, there's a lot of people that frequent my channel that I need to shout out that I don't shout out enough. So I'll probably do that too. Um, so till next time, keep them lit, gang.